Wondering how you can go green around Lake Placid High School? Stay tuned for more for that information. Thinking about how you can earn more community service hours? We have an opportunity for you students. Hello Lake Placid High School, this is Karina Hernandez and you're watching DNN. Students, there will be an environmental expo on Monday, April 22nd in the Commons during lunches. Different community organizations will be discussing environmental concerns. Hashtag Dragons Go Green. April 29th and 30th, we will have snow cone tickets for sale for $2. Buy a ticket during lunch and get your snow cone on May 1st during study hall on the patio. Amy's dance recital is on May 4th and SGA is looking for volunteers. This will be a six hours of community service. Come to the SGA room to sign up and get more details. SGA will be remodeling the Memorial Garden by the patio on Wednesday, April 24th, starting at 3.30. We would like volunteers to help with this activity. This is a great opportunity for the community service hours and snacks will be provided. Let's swing on over to see what weather is looking like with Sean and then Ashley to see what exciting announcement she has. Hey students. This is Sean Bear with your weather forecast this week. And our after school rain chances and temperatures will be in the high 60s, gradually going low in the <clears throat> low 60s. And we have our highs for this week. We have 80s and then gradually going straight up all the way until the weekend into the high 80s. Lows will be going low and then going back up again into the high 70s. Our joke of the day is never criticize someone until you have walked a mile in their shoes. That way when you criticize them you'll be a mile late and you'll have your shoes. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. Hey students, this is Ashley Engel here on this fine afternoon. Do you want to win $100 cash? <laughs> I know I do. Submit a video of your prom proposal to the school's website for your chance to win $100. The Dragon Bank crew will vote for the best prom proposal and the winner will receive $100 cash. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want that $100, you better get asking. Good luck. Congratulations to our next year's class officers for the class of 2020, from President Molly Tuning, Vice President Claire Fipers, Secretary Sarah Harris, and Treasurer Anna Capuano for the class of 2021, President Soleil Noor, Vice President Brianna Pratts, Secretary Kelly Leal, Treasurer Madison Diespies, class of 2022, President Casey Mitchell, Vice President Emily Tuning, Secretary Ruth Brito, Treasurer Hayden Hathaway, Congratulations, guys. There will be a voter's rec registration on Thursday, April 11th, during 2A classes. Students who are 16 years old with a valid ID may register to vote. Student, I mean teachers, feel free to bring your class to the library if you would like. The process takes about 15 minutes. We hope everyone is eligible. who is eligible will register. Let's head on over to Ms. Grizel for This Day in History and then Karina for some information about Wheels for A's. <coughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Good Today afternoon, everyone. This is the state's the last day of the state. In October 2019, Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ms. Grizel, and this is the state in history. And on this date, in 2000, can you please stop and restart? Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mrs. Grizel, and this is the state in history. And on this date, on April 9, 1865, we see we saw Robert E. Lee surrender to Ulysses S. Grant at Appomattox, and the Civil War was over. Just days later, Abraham Lincoln's going to be shot and assassinated. Guys, thanks. Go out and be amazing every day. All right, guys. Alice J's Wheels for AIDS program is back for the 22nd year. And one senior at Lake Placid High School will win a car. For every A you earn during the first three quarters of this year, you'll receive one entry to win a car. The more, the more A's you earn, the better your chances to win. 
do enrolled in college, bring your first semester transcripts for double entries. Each A in dual enrollment. To enter, bring your third quarter report card to Allen J. Ford, Lincoln, and Seabree. The deadline is 5 p.m. on Saturday, April 27th. Allen J. will see you in graduation. Will you drive away with a free car? Lastly, don't forget the grab and go concession stand at the guidance foyer each afternoon on your way out of the building. Everything is a dollar. Here's Mr. Morgan with word of the day and then Tevin for upcoming sports events. Are you ready for word of the day? Run in November for governor. Many parts of the body can be used as verbs in either a physical or metaphorical sense. You can head a company, but if things go wrong, you'll have to shoulder the blame or face your investors. A good leader backs their employees, but if you don't toe the line, you might get skinned. Did you muscle your way into that job? You might eye someone suspiciously or wait for the police to finger a suspect. But if you need to get out of town, try thumbing a ride. You can ride with me if you can stomach the thought. I don't always sing along to the radio, but you might see me mouth. What's up, Lake Placid High School? I'm Tevin Jackson bringing you Sports for the Week. Today, our boys and girls tennis team will be going against LaBelle, boys home and girls away at 4.30 p.m. And also will face Okeechobee both home on Thursday at 4.30. Also, our JV softball team will be facing Moorhaven home at 5.30 and Varsity at 7. Then our boys baseball team will be facing Frostburg away at 7 p.m. Let's not forget about the flag football team. They will be facing Seaburn away at 6 p.m. And then Okeechobee also away at 6 p.m. on Thursday. And on Friday, April 12th, our varsity softball team will be playing Dunbar away at 6.30. And our varsity baseball team will also play Dunbar away at 7 p.m. That's all I have for you today, Dragons. Here is our senior spotlight featuring Dylan Jones. Dan and signing out. Hi, I'm Xander Shies for Senior Spotlight. Introduce yourself. Dylan Jones, senior. Um, okay, so our first question is, how have you matured since your freshman year? Uh, just keeping my grades up, doing more homework, and actually realizing that the work's more important than you think. Don't slack off your freshman year, by the way. Um, next question, what has been the hardest thing about school over the past four years? Uh, honestly, maintaining your grades is hard. Um, just study for your test, because as you go on, they get harder. Um, what is your favorite thing about varsity baseball? Uh, being with my friends, mainly I've grown up with all my friends on the team, so, and the competition's pretty good, so. Um, how long have you been playing baseball? Uh, I started my freshman year, and it's been pretty fun, so. Are you going to pursue any secondary education after high school? Yeah, I plan on going to a school in Georgia. It's called Lyman School, it's Southeast Lyman Training Center. Uh, I'll go there about three and a half months and come back down here. And get started. Um, what are some of your hobbies you would like to share with us? Um, I've been racing dirt bikes since I was five years old. Um, I'm pretty athletic. Um, been working since about sixth grade. So yeah. Thank you for your time, Dylan. Y'all enjoy Placid High School. <laughs>